Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, today, on our exciting adventures throughout Who's By You, we're going to show off the algorithmic solution for the Titanic Tattooed Toads, on the easiest difficulty. Now this one is really, really simple. At least in terms of the algorithm, it's really, really simple, and the execution is pretty darn simple, it just requires you using your eyes. So, the way this algorithm works is we gotta find the toads that let us across. So we start with the colors, so we try to find a way across for each color. So, starting with purple, there's no way across for purple, that's just not gonna cut it. Orange, it looks like there's no way across for orange, once again, there's like one or two lily pads off. How about red? Yes, there's one for red, so we'll put that toad there. So purple and orange are bust, but red is good. How about blue? Nope, blue's not going to work, so how about white? Yes, so, uh, well, yes, white will work. So white and red are the only ones that are going to go across. So now we need to find the other ones. After the covers have all been found out, I'm going to go with symbols next, because that's easier on the eyes. So let's start with diamonds. We've got... A very lovely path across for the diamonds. And as the toads come back, just send them back on their merry way. Alright, so we found the way for the diamonds. How about flowers? Very nice path across for the flowers. We'll send the white toad across again, and now we'll look first to see if there's a path across with X-shaped flowers. So, the X path might be a wee bit more convoluted. No, it looks like there's no path across for the X's. That's a shame. So that means the remaining four frogs will have to be all the lily pad shaped frogs, which is not ideal. Those are the toughest ones to find the path across for. But using this, I can see X, 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 X. X, 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 X. All right, cool. And by that I mean X shaped lily pad, not X girlfriend. Artie don't have no X girlfriends, you know. Because Artie don't have no girlfriends. <laughs> All right, so that's the X shaped one. Now let's try to find the Y shaped one. Probably a similar path across. Yep. Similar path across for the Y-shaped one. Alright. Now let's try to find the hourglass uh, a way across. Ah, I hate the sh lily pad shaped roots. Those are always the toughest to suss out. Alright, now we'll just find the lily pad shaped path across. Thankfully, that one's the easiest to decipher. Okay, cool. You should probably also carve it from right to left so that way you don't have to carve all the way back just to remember where you started. Alright. So that's all the toads. It's really that simple. You just use your eyes, find the paths across, and then f use those toads. Start with the colored stripe, that's the easiest. Then color, uh, shape of the flower, and then shape of the lily pad. Shape of the lily pad is always really annoying to do. And of course we got unlucky this time in that all four of the lily pad shaped frogs had to go across. I really like it when none of them have to go across. But that rarely happens. And on that note, if we put this frog here, all we have to do is now wait for them to finish hopping across, and that'll be level solved. And I feel like this is one I only need to show off once, because the algorithm is exceedingly simple, and very easy to follow. So, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we'll be showing off the algorithmic solution for this level, on a slightly higher difficulty, which is where it gets... I mean, a little more interesting, How but it's never super it interesting. Anyhow, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.